Welcome back. I'm glad you love the Funding One video so much you came back to see how the story ends. Well, in this video, what we're going to do is focus on ADMIE's budget. Key thing to remember is that the budget is approximately $2 billion a year, and we have the same vote one, vote five, vote 10 breakdown. And the way it works at ADMIE is that within this vote one, that's about $1.3 billion. Uh, vote 5 is $810 million, and the Vote 10 budget is $5.4 million. While well, 5.4 is quite a lot of money compared to the uh, Vote 1 and Vote 5, it pales in comparison, so I'm not really going to focus on Vote 10 in this video. Now, of those funds, we spent approximately $227 million in Vote 1 salaries and $3.6 million in Vote 5 salaries. And that's salary money that we have to pay to manage and do the construction projects. And so what happens is that leaves us with approximately $1.1 billion in Vote 1 and $800 million in Vote 5. Now, within the budget, those Vote 1 and vote five buckets are quite large and they encompass most all of the activities that are done within ADMIE, which is a very complex organization. So within these votes, we have created other smaller buckets that each have a specific purpose or, or intent. And so what I'm gonna do now is briefly introduce some of these funds and understanding how these funds work is very important, especially if you're on the portfolio analysis team, because when you actually start extracting data from Dremis and you're trying to see where money was going to and what we were doing, these are some of the fund codes that you'll be using to produce some of your analytical work, right? So we have this big vote one bucket that has $1.1 billion in it, but then we use some of these smaller funds as 167, 168, 169, and so forth to fund specific projects and activities. And the same thing happens with vote five. So what we're gonna do is look at each one of these funds in turn. All right, so the 117 and 167, easy to remember if it ends in seven, this is now we are dealing with the environmental group. So one of these funds deals with environmental remediation projects. That means we're cleaning up contamination, toxic spills, things like that. The other fund is designed to spend money on uh, environmental sustainability projects. And this is the type of uh, fund center where we, or not fund center, but this is the type of fund that we would have money for uh, green projects, for example. Uh, 118 and 168 are funds that are used to help us manage our real property. And so these are very large funds that pay for all of the, the, the electricity bills, uh, if we need the buildings clean, so if there's janitorial services, this will pay for them. Uh, we pay for snow removal and all of the overhead and operational activities associated with managing a building comes from those funds. 169 is the maintenance and repair fund. It's extremely important. And all of our maintenance and repair, so come from out of this, this is preventative maintenance so that you're working on uh, machinery before it breaks down, or you're doing engineered maintenance or corrective maintenance when something does break down, all comes from those. So. The 118, 168, 169 are the key funds that keep our buildings and our infrastructure operating. Now you'll notice the other funds start with a five and that means we're now dealing with the capital side. So 501, uh, that's capital equipment acquisition. So if we need to get some machinery for a building, uh, that's where the, uh, the money would come from. 502 helps fund some of uh, the, our investments in military family housing. Uh, 511 is our capital construction budget. So that's where we would have some money to actually build new buildings. And 517 and 518 are for larger construction projects, also called minor new construction. And so this includes retrofitting or refitting older buildings to upgrade them. It would also include if there's a project in a lease facility, so we might lease something, but have to redesign a building. And the difference between this 517 and the 518 is that 
some of these projects are part of something that's called the capital investment fund. And some of these projects are not part of this capital investment fund. So if we just keep those two funds separate to account for uh, which of those uh, lists the, uh, the projects are on. Now, I will not be uh, questioning you on remembering which one of these funds are for what purpose. What you do need to remember is that uh, different activities are funded through different funds, and these funds are linked back to different votes. Uh, in the course notes, there is an, uh, there's a guide that has details of all these funds and some others that I did not put on here. And I do expect you to go through them so that you understand the basic fund structure of how activities are funded at ADMID. All right, so this is the uh, basic fund structure. Oh, every now and again, it, it does change. Uh, the controllers will provide new fund codes uh, when they are deemed appropriate, make things easier to manage. Uh, that's all I have for you today. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video.